Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you what the best five cup coffee maker is. On the left here, I've got the Mr. Coffee Programmable Five Cup for $20. In the middle, I've got the Black & Decker Five Cup. Sometimes they call it the four-in-one coffee maker for $25. And on the right, I've got the Walmart Mainstays Five Cup Coffee Maker Switched for $10. Very cheap. So these all do five cups of coffee, but they all are just, they all are a little different. So the Mr. Coffee has a warming plate, has a really nice carafe, and you can program it. You can set the time, brew now, program it to have you a little five cup of coffee maker ready for you in the morning when you get up. The Black & Decker on the other hand, this, it does not have a warming plate. So that, that can be good and bad. You can brew into a travel mug, or you can just, you know, just whenever your coffee gets done, you just pour it and go. The coffee maker shuts off automatically. Has some advantages, but it does not shut, it does not have a warming plate to keep your coffee warm. And the glass carafe will cool off the coffee really quick. Next, we got the Walmart Mainstays, another nice little carafe. It does have a warming plate. It's a basic switched model, so it's gonna brew coffee when it's switched on and you have to manually switch it off or it will burn the coffee. So when it's switched on, the warming plate is on, it'll brew the coffee. After the coffee's done brewing, it keeps the warming plate on until you switch it off. The Mr. Coffee will turn off automatically after two hours. Size-wise, we can see the, the Black & Decker is just a much bigger, bigger coffee maker. Here we've got the Mr. Coffee, just looks like a miniaturized version of their 12 cup. Hinge lid, put the water back here, get you a little filter. This one, now, interestingly enough, this does have pause brewing. It's got the little plunger at the bottom. This one does not, so it will drip on you when it's done brewing coffee. If you take the, the coffee pot out, you do get a few drips. There's the brew head. You put the water, nice big opening for the water, and it's gonna, you can use the reusable filter that it comes with or a paper filter. And here we've got the mainstays, just a $10 coffee maker. It's got the pause brewing. Put the water bag here. There's the brew head, and it's gonna brew the coffee. So, very basic. I found that they all brewed pretty much the same cup of coffee, maintaining about, oh, there's about 180, 185 degree water coming out to produce about a 165 cup of coffee. I've got detailed videos on each one of these where I actually brew a pot of coffee with each one. So check out those videos. I'll put them in the show description notes. I'll put a link to each one of these in the show description notes also. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the products don't cost you anymore, but I do get a little bit of money from the product, from the, from the clicks. I do buy all my own products with my own money, so it's a way of supporting my channel. Check out my next video. I'm going to show you my best, the four top coffee makers that I like. So the 12 cup, 10 to 12 cup coffee makers, all the way from a Mr. Coffee to a Mocha Master, $350 one. I'm going to show you where they range in between. I'm also going to show you my best Keurig. So what, out of all the Keurigs that I have, I've got all the current model Keurig machines. Which one do I like the best? I've got the cheapest one, middle of the road, and the most expensive one that I like. Also gonna do a video on dual brew coffee makers. So Ninja has released a bunch of dual brew coffee makers. I compare those to the, to the um, Keurig machines and the Hamilton Beach and the Cuisinart and show you my top picks out of all of the dual brew coffee makers. Again, just a simple video on the three I've got actually, I've done about four or five of these five brews. I did the Amazon Basics one. Didn't like it too much. It just seemed, it didn't seem very well built. You know, the Black & Decker seems the best well built. The Mr. Coffee's right in line with it. Now, I, I did get a Mr. Coffee bad out of the box. You press the brew button, nothing would happen. But you, you send it back, get a new one. So there is some reliability issues with some things like that. You got any comments? Leave them in the, in the comment section down below. I check my comments on a daily basis. Thanks, everybody, for your support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.